high developers so in this part of angular e-commerce project we will learn that how we can set up json server but you might have a question there like uh, what is json server and why we need it in our project that's why i'll tell you that what is json server first and why we use it after that we will set up json server we will set up the postman also Post postman is basically used for testing our apis and i'll tell you that how we can create our first api for seller sign up in this part also but that we will do with the help of postman and uh, in the next part we will integrate that api in our uh, uh, angular project also all right so uh, now the first question is why we need json server and what is the use of it see json server is basically used for create fake apis as you know uh, angular cannot connect with the directly with the database neither javascript neither angular react or vue can uh, connect with the database so what we will basically do we create apis in a uh, uh, server side scripting language like in node.js in python php or in java and then we will use this api in our front end technologies like in uh, angular in react or vue and all but now we are learning a angular project there so we don't want to waste our time to create apis or we don't want to learn any new technology to create apis and all because maybe you are not aware about the backend technologies and database and all right that's why json server is basically a best choice to create the fake apis it will create the same apis like uh, we are creating in the programming language there is the same json structure same uh, key and value pair and all i'll tell i will show you that how uh, the apis actually look like you cannot differentiate the apis of uh, actual server and the json server and we can use this api directly in our angular project it will save our time and uh, you can say that uh, either if you are not aware about backend technologies then still you can create api based project in angular so maybe there is a one more question you have like uh, so do we really need apis we cannot create uh, angular application with, uh, without apis the answer is no if you have like very simple uh, project in angular then that's okay but if you have complex project like e-commerce project or any other project then without api you cannot create an angular project right so now let's see how we can just install the json server and what we have to do this is really simple uh, to install so first of all let's just go to the google and simply put here json server github and you will find a link for github like type a code json server just click over there and there is you just need to run only two commands to create uh, your apis so first of all you have to install it so just run this command npm install minus g json server so where you have to run it you can run it uh, this command anywhere in your application in c directory in the d directory anywhere it doesn't mean uh, you need to run in any specific directory so let me open here command line like cmd and uh, you can just run it there and uh, it will just take a moment to install all right this is about to install and after that we can create a db.json file so where we can create this file you can create anywhere wherever you want to just create your apis but uh, as you know we are working in an angular project so the better to be just simply create a db.json file in your project root folder right so let me just add here db.json file you can put any name to this, this file like db.json, database.json, xyz.json, api.json but keep in mind the extension should be json there right so now let's see this is installed or not uh, yeah that, that is installed now just open the command line in uh, the folder where you created the db.json file just simply open a command line and there you need to run uh, one command to run your server like json server hyphen hyphen watch and your file name so we have a db.json file name so maybe let's say you have a file name is api.json then you have to run the command json server minus minus watch api.json and uh, after that you can simply run this command there right after that you can see that your uh, uh, json server is running on uh, 3000 port so let's try to open it yeah you can see that but there is a no data in our uh, db.json file we can see that but we want to create a api for seller sign up so first of all you just need to create a object 
and then your API name, like say you want to create a seller APIs. And after that, let's simply create a, uh, if there is a multiple user or multiple entries, then create a array and that's all. After that, you just hit that API from Postman with a post request, your API will be created, right? So that's all. Now the next step is you just uh, go to the uh, Google search and simply put here uh, Chrome extension Postman and just go to that first link for uh, web store detail postman in chrome.google and here you will find that uh, install app or install button because i already installed that postman that's why it's showing me to launch application and in your case you might have seen their install extension or install app so just click on there and you will find that your json server is just uh, not json server your postman is basically opening there so you can just cl close all these tabs you don't need them and now just hit that api with the post request you uh, if guys if you are not aware about what is git uh, uh, get request what is post request and what are the apis then i will recommend you to watch the angular tutorial first link is given in the description box for complete playlist because if you are not aware about these basic things like what is get request post request what is api why we need them then you just need to first uh, just cover up the basics otherwise you will just don't understand most of the things in that project right uh, that's why and if you have even basic idea then you can go with that project that's that's fine all right so now uh, what i'm just going to do i'm putting here post request and the url of the api so our uh, you can say that uh, uh, json server url is this and then our api name is sailor right and if you want to just see the complete url just refresh it you will find that sailor object and just copy this url directly uh, from the uh, browser and just paste it there and now the next thing is just open the body there and select the row and select uh, JSON application there. And now you can provide the uh, details that you want to store in API. So let's say I just want to add your name. So as you know, in last video, we created that sign up form and we need name, password and email at least for seller, right? So I am just adding at least these three fields. So I'm putting here name and name, let's say Anil Sidhu, email, you can put any email let's say anil at the rate sailor.com this is not my email id this is i'm just putting a dummy email id so don't just email there something and uh, last thing is password right and you can put here abc at the rate one two three you can put any password there so whenever you will hit it and you will find there in response you will get two zero one that means your API is created and now just open your db.json file and you can see that one entry is there. So let's say you want to make one more entry. So let's say you just want to add for Sam Sidhu, Sam, Tarate, uh, no, this is not Sam. So let me just correct that spelling. Password is let's say same and you just created one more uh, account for the user. And now you can see that there is a to user in your uh, db.json file so your first sign up api is created for seller and next part we will integrate that in our project all right so uh, what we learned there let's see that if, if we just don't miss any uh, point so we learned that how we can create json server what is that how we can set up how we can install postman uh, even we created our first api so that's all for that part and uh, thank you so much for watching this video for supporting me and please uh, provide your feedback like you just understand that video or not in comment box and if possible then please share this video with friend also thank you guys thank you so much for watching this video